Hello guys, I started my own AI research lab and this is how I plan to structure our research. First, we will do research just on an LLM and I want to keep entire research, everything, all of the experiments and architectures in a single GitHub repository. So anybody who's contributing us or somebody outside from the community or you, uh, you would create a new experiment or work on one of these experiments and uh, then submit your pull request. So this first experiment, we want to do deep six sparse attention. So actually, I just uh, pasted a few ideas here. This needs to be refined. It's not yet uh, good. And then uh, MOE load balancing. We can test the current versus deep six one. Maybe a few more and then million optimizer. Not sure what you want to do here yet. So whenever we learn something good from an experiment, we're going to code it back into this main like modules, models and stuff. And for every experiment, we will save the snapshot, the tag of the current code, the current commit that this experiment can run on. Because as we change the code of the main uh, repo, then some of the experiments would break, but we will tag the commit, we will save the commit on which it runs. Also very important, if you are contributing to read this contributing MD. So uh, contributing to AI research is not easy. And uh, some people just want to like submit some uh, fixed typo or incomplete or bad uh, research. So please uh, read this. You need to understand what you're doing and you cannot just generate like AI generated like explanations or code and not understand what's happening and try to submit that. Uh, these are the rules they follow at OpenAI, Google, whatever, uh, the big uh, frontier companies as well. So here in issues, actually, uh, there is a certain person or multiple people who did really good research. This one, this is what I would say is a really good research. So if you go here, call up notebook, they have their findings. This is not AI generated. They understood what they're doing. Uh, it's not sloppy. It's not sloppy. It's actually high quality. And I can show you another pull request where it's just like a blob of AI generated text and the user who submitted it probably didn't read it uh, themselves either. But this is example of a good one. So uh, I need to look further what we want to do with this, how we want to implement this. So we will implement this into the main uh, code as well. You can also join Discord, discuss, leave your ideas, suggestions, and you can also contribute uh, here. Our goal, I'm not sure what exactly right still uh, our goal is. I was thinking like training GPT-4 level LLM under $100 of compute. If we take uh, the current progress, like halving every 18 to 24 months, the amount of compute like necessary halves. So I guess that's like in 20 years we would achieve that. So I don't know how much we can accelerate that. Also, I don't know if that's going to be like our ultimate goal, like just hundred dollars to compute. Uh, eventually I plan to get like maybe deep seek level uh, compute, which is still 10 times less than open AI and stuff. But I think uh, we can do deep seek level compute uh, GPUs while keeping it open source and having frontier model uh, or almost frontier model. Otherwise, we would need to go like full closed, like anthropic and AI if we want like maximum compute, but we don't need that even. If you have a suggestion for more clear set goal, maybe just like uh, do a good LLM or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, I also want to do on video generation. I think videos will play an important role in AGI because they actually understand like the world. They are world models better than text. So maybe videos will be even like... Uh, like more intelligent than uh, LLMs, we'll see. That's it for this video. What I want to do tomorrow is maybe define more clearly our goal, um, maybe come up with more experiments or define these experiments better and maybe start working on the first experiment. Although this one will actually be a quite extensive. Maybe I would like first document like how deep seek uh, sparse uh, MLA works, then sparse attention, and a bunch of different experiments. So you can have like multiple experiments within this experiment. So we'll see. Also, I don't know like if I should also try uh, to experiment scaling. There are like so many things to experiment on. Maybe I can try like smaller model, medium model, bigger model. That, and we can just use like one GPU and there is no communication overhead for now. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and uh, see you tomorrow, I believe. Bye bye.